dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i'm mr zaman and today i'm going to talk about cancer vaccine to simultaneously kill and prevent brain cancer develop scientists are harnessing a new way to turn cancer cells into potent anti cancer agents in the latest work from the lab of khalid shah who is a ms phd at brigham and women's hospital a founding member of the mass general brigham healthcare system investigators have developed a new cell therapy approach to eliminate established tumors and induce long term immunity training the immune system so that it can prevent cancer from recurring The team tested their dual action cancer killing vaccine in an advanced mouse model of the deadly brain cancer glioblastoma with promising results. Findings are published in Science Translational Medicine. Cancer vaccines are an active area of research for many labs, but the approach of Shah and his colleagues have taken is distinct. Instead of using inactivated tumor cells, the team repurposes living tumor cells which possesses an unusual feature. Like homing pigeons returning to roost, living tumor cells will travel long distances across the brain to return to the site of their fellow tumor cells. Taking advantage of this unique property, Shah's team engineered living tumor cells using the gene editing tool CRISPR-Cas9 and repurposed them to release tumor cell killing agent. In addition, the engineered tumor cells were designed to express factors that would make them easy for the immune system to spot, tag and remember, priming the immune system for a long-term anti-tumor response. The team tested their repurposed CRISPR enhanced and reverse engineered therapeutic tumor cells, which is THTC, in different mice strains including the one that bore bone marrow, liver and thymus cells derived from humans, mimicking the human immune microenvironment. Shah's team also built a two-layer safety switch into the cancer cell which when activated eradicates THTCs if needed. This dual action cell therapy was safe, applicable and efficacious in these models suggesting a road map toward therapy. While further testing and development is needed, Shah's team specifically chose this model and used human cells to smooth the path of translating their findings for patient settings. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.